And this question comes from a gentleman, um, Anis Anibis Was. Um, 6992. And it's in response to your video, why high value masculine men do not consider themselves a prize. Mm -hmm. And his question is, why is the, uh, the man not a prize? He mm -hmm. wants to know. Right. And wants to know what's masculine about thinking yourself not worthy for love. He goes on to say, that's what high self esteem is, knowing your worth. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. See, I did tell you she had a radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the video, why high value masculine men do not consider themselves the prize. Well, I can see that Anabis was 6992. <laughs> Probably didn't get to watch the video. Yes. I think we are living in a world where everybody is really super triggered. And... Um, there's a, you know, what I really want to say about that in terms of tone, because what I'm hearing is hurt. I'm hearing a hurt man. And I think as women, we don't always understand that men are hurting. Men are hurting as much as women are hurting. And until you get to work with men and have an open, uh, safe space for them to talk, you won't actually understand their mm -hmm. struggle. So when you read this on the face, you know that it feels attacking. Yes. But when we are attacking often, it's because we have some underlying anger. There's a lot of rage in the world. The bottom line is there's a lot of rage, especially when it comes to relationship, highly emotional topics. They can turn a monster, a, a good person into a monster the moment we start talking about relationships. And that is because relationships are life. And we are living in a very different time where everybody's disillusioned mm. and everybody's feeling unheard, unseen, unnoticed, especially with technology. Everybody's looking at their phone. Everybody's speaking to a screen and so this comment says to me um i've been watching stuff on the, the digital space and women have been diminishing men yes <laughs> and women have been um pulling men down and calling themselves the prize calling themselves the valuable item calling themselves the worthy item and to the detriment of us men and i can't imagine that's something that a woman or man wants to feel. Mm -hmm. But what we do need to do is get into the truth. And the truth is that, you know, I can, I don't want to get too much into the emotion of it, but we don't want to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and, and just say, look, I'm hurting that I don't, I'm not being chosen. I'm hurting because the woman that I want to have doesn't want to have me. And that the excuse they're using is I'm the prize, I'm not the prize. But let's, I know this is a conversation, we chose this question because it's a conversation that is, rampant on the internet yes, you know men true. are like i'm the prize too yeah. and women are like i'm the prize and here's the thing it's about language and communication just because we're using the same word doesn't mean that we have given it the same meaning to mr anibis was 6992's point he has put attributed prize to self-worth mm -hmm. esteem mm -hmm. and value mm. And, and that's great. But when a woman uses I'm the prize, she's not speaking to any of those things. Now let's look at it from the feminine and masculine dynamic. The feminine is passive, mm -hmm. patient, and vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She allows, she is available, she's receptive to the man, but her position is always seated. If mass feminine energy is seated energy, it's, it's, it's always in place, like the egg. Mm. The egg doesn't swim around. <laughs> it doesn't go towards <laughs> the sperm, okay? It, it sits mm. in a place where it is valuable and we have a certain amount of eggs and it is very valuable to have eggs and it costs women thousands to freeze their eggs mm -hmm. because a woman's eggs diminish as she gets older. The value of them is such that they're rare, they're few, and they're important. And so feminine energy, we liken that to the egg that mm. sits and waits pace passively and patiently to be contained, to be fertilized, to so that life can happen, mm -hmm. right? And the sperm is the active one. It's swimming at 100 miles an hour, you know, and they're competing because masculine energy is competing, it's conquering, um, it's it's competitive, it's controlling. Masculine energy is that movement, that forward movement, that focus, that go-getter. That's masculine energy, and we know that we have both masculine and feminine energy. So when we're talking about a prize, if we're going to use it as a symbol, a prize is passive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't move. 
I've never. Do you have you seen a walking trophy? No. <laughs> or even a to- a talking one. <laughs> <laughs> even when you go to the Olympics, the the, the gold medal doesn't talk. Mm. It remains passive, waiting to be won, mm. right? Waiting for a champion. So in that video, what I was actually talking about is that the man, the masculine man sees himself as a champion in this world. Mm. He sees himself as one that penetrates the world and makes things happen and creates things from nothing and and penetrates because masculine energy penetrates. Mm -hmm. Everything about a man is built for penetration. His muscles, his body, his psychology, his hormonal makeup, he is, he is, created for penetration Mm -hmm. and a man gets what he wants by going for it by competing for it by conquering a thing and so when he does that he gets the prize the prize can be his lifestyle Mm. the prize can be you know the car that belongs to him you know the business that is successful that belongs to him so when we're in masculine energy we are pursuing a prize the prize of a relationship so a masculine man in his masculine psychology doesn't think I'm the prize. Somebody come and win me. Somebody, you know. So when a man sits there and says, I'm the prize, what you're saying is I am passively waiting for a woman to be my champion, mm. right? This is why masculine men don't operate that way. Yeah. This is why masculine men will go into a room like the girl and go for her, yeah. right? He's scared <laughs> like every other man of rejection, but his masculinity, his testosterone, his psychology says, I get out of life what I compete for, what I go for. And so you will never hear a masculine energy man who sits in his masculine energy referring to himself as a prize, but you will hear him refer to himself as a champion. Yeah. You will <laughs> hear him refer to himself as a winner, Yes. right? Yeah. Who won that beautiful yeah. girl, who won that achievement. Yes. He's that masculine man. Mm. And when we as women are in masculine energy, we're like, I'm a champion, right? We're in masculine energy. So when... Uh, men run around the internet saying, I'm the prize, I'm the prize. They don't understand that the language they're using is feminine language. Mm. The woman is taught, I am to be one. I am valuable in my being. Yes. I need to be kind. I need to be thoughtful. I need to be um, nurturing. I need to be feminine so that a man would win me, so mm-hmm. that the most powerful the most the strongest the most competent and capable man will win my heart so she refers to herself as a prize because she works so hard on being a great woman Mm. right she works so hard on on her character she works hard on her mind she works hard on emotions so that she may be worthy so she may be worthy of a man competing for her worthy of a man fighting for her worthy of a man conquering mountains to be with her. And so when a woman says, I am the prize, she's not saying I have more worth than you. She's not saying I'm more valuable than you. She's not saying I'm more worthy of love than you. She is saying, I am sitting here, King, and I'm waiting for you to find me. I'm waiting for you to go to war for me Mm. because I've worked so hard to be worthy of you, Mm. right? And so when the champion gets the prize, there's then we have this beautiful thing of the champion now has something that says, hey guys, I'm the one with the gold medal, right? Yeah. And then we celebrate that person. Yes. And, and we, we, you know, when they win the Olympic prize, we put them on television and we endorse them, mm-hmm. right? That's what it should be. The man and the woman together should have a celebratory, complimentary relationship. When a man finds his wife, he finds a good thing mm-hmm. and obtains favor from the Lord. Yes. That means this man is now complete. Mm-hmm. So when we are referring to, when I said in that video is, how about we change our language, gentlemen, Mm. and we refer to ourselves as champions. And here's the thing, not every man is a champion, and not every woman is a prize, (laughs) okay? Some (laughs) some men are not champions, because some men don't go for their dreams. They don't go for the woman they want, and they don't put in the work. They don't strive, Mm. right? So they don't have a champion heart. Mm. And some women, they don't care about their character. Mm. They're Jezebel and they don't care. They want, the the world owes them. That's not a prize. So even in using that word, it's not really we assign champions to men or we assign prizes to women. We're really talking about, here at least in the Black Swan Relationship Academy, when we're using these words, we are referring to 
people who are black swans, who are rare and exquisite, mm. who desire to be the to be value to the world. Yes. You know, that's 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 mm. that. So hopefully mm. that will calm you down and help you know that we love you men here at the black swan <laughs> relationship men are loved right um, and that's that's what we were talking about there the question that he asked is in two parts and so before i read the second part to you i just want to um clarify on of some course. of the things that you're um saying because um what i'm hearing you say and i'm hoping that the men who are listening to us will also hear this right. basically number one change your language right number two change the way in which you see yourself and what it is that you you know are doing mm. and number three understand that the fact that yes you are worthy we're all worthy mm. and you you are worthy of pursuing your very best. Yes. Going out there and being, you know, not being the prize, but being somebody's champion. Yes. Now, if I'm given an opportunity for a prize or a champion, I know which one I want. I would want a champion. Yes. Because if you're thinking about a prize, a prize is something that you would get and you put it on a shelf and you leave it there mm. every so often you periodically you go around and you dust it you <laughs> glance at it and you go on yeah. that's not what i would want in a man yes. i would want him to be that champion to go out to strive and to you know do the things that we want to do that we said we were going to do to make our lives wonderful mm. but you can't do that if you're an object that's placed somewhere mm. only to be looked at from time to time mm. so you know um if and all the men out there who are listening, you know, look at yourself again and ask yourself, what do I want to be? Do I want to be the champion or do I want to be a prize? Because, mm. well, if you want to be a prize, you have to sit at home and look pretty. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's my job. <laughs> but I want to look pretty for you. I want to, yeah, I want to look job. cute for you. <laughs> I want to, you know, I, I, yeah, absolutely. I. I, I, the, 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 the issue, sadly, is that we have an unfathered generation yes. of men and equally an unmothered generation of women. Yes. yes. And when you have a father, you know, when my son, when I was raising my son, you know, even when I was still married to my ex, I would want to molly cuddle him mm -hmm. day and night. No, don't make him do his not right. <laughs> to just come and sit next to mummy. <laughs> <laughs> and my ex-husband would be like, no, nope, get up, do this. And mm -hmm. I'm just, only a baby, mm -hmm. right? And even now, I was very conscious that even though I'm divorced, I want my son to have a relationship with his father because a man can only make a yes. man a man. Yes. And one of the things that my ex-husband was able to, is able to, was able to instill in my son is that competitive, you know, I remember when he was going to judo, when every time he got slammed on the ground, my heart would break in a thousand pieces. <laughs> but my ex-husband would be like, go on, son, go, on. You know, get up, get it together. And so, you know, when you have a father, he will encourage you to get up and go. He yes. will remind you that yes. you're a king, you're a champion, you're a man. Yes. And so it's, it, it's built in your DNA that life will come at you. Mm. You will get slapped, you will get beaten, but you get up. Yes. And what that does is it feeds a man's masculine energy because the masculine has to do good yes. to feel good yes. and let me just say something when a masculine man attains a woman that woman feels good to him yes you know when you see a masculine man with a woman that he fought to get that he he worked hard mm. he you know and he protects her yes and he provides for her and he when that woman is walking down the street and he knows that she looks good because i do that mm. that that's me mm. you know i make sure my woman has it all the, that man feels good in his body yes and that man walks a certain kind of way and enters every room a certain kind of way and that's why women are like oh my god i really fancy him that's why uh we attracted so much mm. to that because it's the energy, energy. Of, of a champion yes. there's something about yes. a, i don't care if it's five for two yes. or seven it doesn't matter if a yeah. man sits in his masculine energy mm. nobody cares about how he looks because yes. the aura of that man mm. the way he feels to a woman's body when when as a woman you're in the presence of masculinity there's something about you that rests mm. you know even if you're like me and you're miss powerful miss go get it all of a sudden you're like <laughs> <laughs> 
attest to that because yes, that is you. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> men want that in a woman, yes. but they don't. They have not been taught by a father. Yes, what the price? Mm-hmm. There's a price point to yeah. that. There's a the to to get that femininity, to get mm-hmm. that high valueness. You have to be a man that takes pride mm-hmm. in winning things. Yes, you know, um, and in our generation where if I had raised my son without a father, he would take pride in getting things. Mm. He would use women. Yes. He would sleep around with women. Mm. He would use things. He would not, but the masculine is, I know women are going to get upset about this, but he's as close to God mm. in the nature of God. Yes. Literally. Yes. Adam was built in the nature of God mm. and we are an imitation of Adam. Yes. Yes. Right. And the nature of God is giving, mm. life giving, you know, it's, it's creative, it's power. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be a man and not be masculine. Mm. Right. But I understand that if it's not taught, if you're nurtured in a feminine way, yeah. if you if I let if I raise my son, he wouldn't mm. ever know the power of what it is mm. to be a man. Mm. And to be in masculine energy yeah. because men metabolize masculinity way easier than a woman ever can. Yes. We have masculine energy, but our bodies, our psychology, our our hormonal structure, our nervous system mm. doesn't metabolize masculinity well. Yes. We stay in masculine energy, we start to break down our mm. body. We yeah. start to break down our psychology. We're really good with being feminine. Yes, very <laughs> much so. Do you know, if I'm hearing um, right what you're saying is, Unfortunately, the way society is nowadays, a woman shouldn't raise a boy on her own. And Mm -hmm. it's like um, a man shouldn't raise a girl on her own. And unfortunately, most homes nowadays, it's um, their single parent families. Yes. And it's the woman that's carrying the load. And because she doesn't have the uh, testosterone, she doesn't produce it so she's gonna raise her son the way in which she she'll is. raise him like she, a girl yeah very with, much with so. female priorities and yeah. that's what's happened yeah. i think in a lot of men um because there aren't enough real men around and i say real not because the others are fake but <laughs> the masculine men who's out there who is the champion who you know if you get knocked down you get up you go again and it's not just being knocked down and getting up that makes you a man but it's the fact that you're pursuing you have you're on a journey to get to somewhere and on that journey part of that is to find yourself a good wife and you know build a home together have a future with this person and grow and help her to also grow in you know the nature of being her best authentic self but when you don't know that and you come away and you listen to all the other people out there who are saying it's us that's the prize let's wear the prize wear the prize and you (laughs) buy that Mm. it is very difficult then to get that man to switch and to change his way of thinking because that way of thinking may get him somebody but he's not going to be able to keep her and when two dysfunctional people come together the outcome of this is not going to be pleasant for either of them no so and he's not going to be able to love her no because here's the thing men are no longer falling in love that's the truth. Women fall in love with anything. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Our emotional wiring, the chaos of the feminine, means we can fall in love very easily. Yes. Men stopped falling in love, and I'll tell you why. Because their oxytocin comes out, works better in a man. The bonding hormone comes out in a man as he gives. Mm. So a man will bond biochemically to the one he is investing in and giving. Now, when you have women chasing men, doing for men, do, and men saying, yeah, equal rights, 50-50, <laughs> you know, you do, I do. What you're finding is men are playing games way more than they ever used to yes. in times past because they're not falling in love. Yes. When a man is not giving, he's not giving himself an opportunity to fall in love Mm. now there'll be men that say well i've given and i've been gold dug and i've been abused and i've been whatever and we might talk about that in one of the other Mm. questions about what that is about and how we can mitigate that again because we are unparented we're an underparented generation yes you know gen x 
millennials mm -hmm. and down, we are very underparented. And so we're navigating the world doing the right things for the wrong people at the wrong time, yes. right? Because nobody, you know, even, you know, these men that were raised, provide, protect, cherish, but then they weren't told for who though. Yes. Because not every woman is worthy, mm -hmm. right? I tell my son, not, you must be a man, you must provide, you must protect, you must cherish, but you must also know the type of woman worthy of that. Yes. You must protect, you know, women, the world, the, it's your right as a mm. man and your godlike nature to protect the universe and mm. protect your world regardless. But the one you invest in, she has to be a particular type of woman, yes. right? And it's parents that are supposed to teach their children. Mm. Mm. Right, we have left it to the education system. Yeah, I, we've left it to the, yes. you know the world. Yes, but the Bible says parents teach your children. The mandate is on the parent pertaining to all things concerning life. Mm. We must teach our yes. children. So what we have, uh, you know, people that raise themselves. Yes, were raised by television, mm. running around saying things like. Why can't I be the prize as well? And then one of the things that men need to understand is when you use the wrong language, even women too, we're talking about the men right now, but you know, when you use certain language inside the woman's body, if she is feminine, if she even had any ounce of attraction for you, let's say she mm. had attraction out of 10 was at eight. Then you sit there and say, well, I'm also the prize. She's now at two because that energy is feminine. And when a feminine and feminine come together, chemistry goes out the window and mm -hmm. friendship begins to develop. So that's why when a woman is like, you know, I really liked him when I saw him, but mm, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. I mean, mm. She doesn't know why she's lost attraction. Yeah. She's not conscious. It's not like I am a, I've lost attraction because he said I'm the prize. Mm. She's feeling in her body a lack of chemistry, a lack of attraction. So we need to be careful that, especially men, that you don't jump into these internet foolishness mm -hmm. Because a lot of great guys are missing out on great women because yes. they're, 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 they're falling prey. Yeah. Oh. Let's move on to the, sec to the, the second. The second part of, um, <laughs> yeah. because we 